Hello folks, this is Chaplin Mac and I'm back uh, and I'm here with, um, I'm gonna call him uh, a Kalinago chief, uh, but he's gonna tell us uh, who he is, uh, a little bit about his headdress and the drums that he played and his experience uh, as representing uh, the Kalinago territory. All right, take it away. All right, Mabrika, Mabrika, Kikuni Karihi. Okay, well, I'm Jared Langley, and my name, um, I am from Badaka, of course. Uh, I live close to the Church of the Nazarene, just on the other side of the Karina Cultural Village. Uh, past councillor, of course, and um, I'm a cultural elder in my community. And I uh, also is the medicine man, or most of the time people call me the shaman. Okay. Um, but um, in our tradition, it's more like a PI. PI songs, you know, sometimes when you hear about PI, people say, well, it's a bad thing. <laughs> but it all has to do with the medicine. The healing. The healing. So, um, of course, uh, I am, um, uh, of course, a member of the, uh, the manager, of course, of the Carina Cultural Group. And me and my wife has been doing that for the past uh, 40 years, of course, we have been in the cultural business. And um, I, uh, I've been doing that because I, I I love to do it and I believe that um, it's a way to maintain and to preserve, of course, uh, our past traditions, our her Kalinago heritage, and you know, keep it because um, if not, then in this modern day and age, then we, it is fastly going away. It is we losing it. So, um, uh, of course, I am here um, to participate, to um, to perform you know, some songs and dances, of course, for the worship people. Uh, to show them, of course, we are still alive as Kalinagos because uh, in the past, uh, most of these uh, Europeans would look at us as the fierce and the savage cannibalistic Caribs. You know, in the history books, you, you read about the Caribs and uh, they say that we were fierce and we were warlike and we were very we were cannibalistic. So, you know, that is the, that is the name we, we were given. They were not saying that we were freedom fighters and fighting for the rights of our people and our land. So, um, of course, I'm here to, uh, right here, as I said, to really you know, tell them about it and to, you know, to let people know that we are still alive uh, in these in this modern times. All right. Now, I know that um, every morning there is a Kalinago word that's given to all of Dominica. Do you know anything about that? <laughs> Well, yeah, I, of course, I am one of them. Um, it's two of us, of course, uh, and I am one of them that uh, usually um, give the word of the day. Um, uh, we, every, every, from Monday to Friday, of course, um, every working day of the week. So, um, myself and uh, Mr. Prosper Paris, so we, we usually um, give the day a, a word of the day. And every day we give a word, um, you know, telling the people the different meanings of, you know, the Kalinago word. Because most of, most of the time people believe that we have forgotten our language and we have forgotten the words. We have forgotten, you know, so many different things. But um, no, we are doing our research and we are, you know, recovering and we are continuing. And um, in the next two near distant future, of course, we will will be able to bring back the Kalinago language, of course, in the schools and, uh, you know, and people will be able to communicate and talk the language once more. So what is the word for today? Uh, you mean which word? To today. Today. Yes. Mm -hmm. You mean the word for today or today? Because there's, <laughs> I try to figure out what it is. It is the, the word for today is Okoni, which is today. Um, of course, uh, tomorrow is Aluka. Okay. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, give me a sentence in uh, the Kalinago language. Okay. Um, it is um, Mabrika, Mabrika, Ki Kuni Karihi. That, that is, ma, Mabrika means, of course, my, uh, greetings and welcome. Lia Liri, Lia Liri, Manu. My name is Manu. My name is Manu. Awesome, awesome. Well, folks, here you have uh, an awesome interview from a veteran of the Kalinago territory, an elder, a medicine man, a PI, 
and you name it. He has done it over the past 40 years and his experience has made Dominica proud, but more importantly, the Kalinago people. All right, stay tuned for more information where the Kalinago people are concerned.